Aquarius Rising's June 2024 is an insanely fun month of going out a lot, having a lot of dating stuff, and being really creative. If you're excited to dive into what we can expect this June for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I am Marin. I'm an astrologer and I have more astrology content you can find down below, as well as my music if you would like to stream that. So starting out this week from the 1st to the 7th, the Sun will be conjunct Venus in your Gemini 5th house. The Sun and Venus together shows harmony and like intellectually being on the same page with people in a really harmonious social way. And the 5th house is dating and creativity. So it looks like you're having fun in multiple different ways. Then on the 1st to the 6th, Jupiter will be trying Pluto between your 5th and your 1st houses. This shows that all the expansion of creativity and fun in your life is helping you get focused about your priorities and your values as a person and who you want to represent. On the fourth, Mercury will be conjunct Jupiter in your fifth house. This shows really positive communication and opening up with good news or expressing yourself creatively and romantically. And on the sixth, there is a new moon in your Gemini fifth house. This is a new beginning with creativity or a romantic relationship. Something fun in your life is starting. On the eighth, however, Venus will score Saturn in your second house. Do be aware that you could face financial blockages with things that you want creatively or romantically. Then on the 9th, Mars enters your Taurus fourth house. This shows effort or conflict that you might be having to work through around home and family second half of this month. From the 10th to the 12th, Mars will also score Pluto in your first house. Looks like you might be trying to manipulate or change a situation as it pertains to your family and living situation and it's not going well. Then on the 14th, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in your Gemini fifth house. This shows clarity, information, and realizing something important as it pertains to dating and creativity. And from the 16th to the 18th, Mercury and Venus will be together in your fifth house. This shows really positive news or getting along well with the way that you communicate with people going on. On the 16th to the 18th, however, Mercury will score Neptune in your second house, which shows confusion or lack of clarity financially impacting your romantic or creative plans. On the 17th, Venus will be entering your Cancer sixth house. This shows more harmony with your health and wellness and people that you work around happening in the later half of this month. And we end the month on the 21st with a full moon in your Capricorn 12th house, which is a letting go and uh, emptying out or a realization about your mental health that is helping you drop something and let go of something challenging internally. If you already have anything that you would like to share about this June coming up for you, do leave me a comment down below. The tarot card here that we have for Aquarius Risings this June is... The Three of Cups. So generally the Three of Cups shows a creative union. Like you're doing something fun, not romantic, with a group of people. Like three's a party. This isn't like love. So I think this is showing that a lot of you are going to enter a creative partnership or have something creative take off this month. If you enjoyed this, do make sure to like and subscribe because it does help out. And let me know down below how you're feeling and what your plans are for this June. Wishing you an awesome month ahead and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh,